weeks ago, Simeon Tianpong and Team Axel Noble took an incredible leg win after an epic 20-day race from Hong Kong to Auckland in the Volvo Ocean Race 2017-18. Tianpong and his crew had to fend off relentless attacks in the final stages of the leg, proving they have what it takes to compete at the top after a rocky start to their campaign. Uh, yeah, we were battling the whole way through with the scallywag right through to the finish here. They finished a mile and a half behind us or something. It was absolutely epic. But we um, to make it here to Auckland. The crowds, the support, it's, I can't see life getting any better than this. <laughs> Since the finish of leg six, Auckland's Viaduct Basin has been the hub of activity. The race village has seen hundreds of thousands of people flocking down to meet the teams and seeing the boats for themselves. Auckland, of course, has a special bond with the race, a stopover since the early editions. This is the 11th time the race has visited the country, and it's the 10th time that Auckland has hosted a stopover. Yeah, no, Auckland and New Zealand has such a strong history with this race. We're here for the 11th time in New Zealand out of 13 editions. So being in Auckland, being in New Zealand is, is such a strong uh, emotional thing for all of us who have been around the race for a long time. Auckland also marks the return of Vestas 11th hour racing to the lineup. The boat had been shipped to New Zealand for repairs after leg four, following a collision with a non-racing vessel close to the finish in Hong Kong. After a huge effort from all involved in the logistics and hull repair operation, the winning boat from leg one was relaunched and joined the rest of the teams at the Viaduct Basin, ready to compete in leg seven. It's been an amazing effort by all involved to get the boat here in the water that you see behind us. I mean, coordination between uh, you know our short team, the boatyard, all the suppliers, the stakeholders, and you know, just a month ago we said we'd be on the water. You know, this day, this time, and everybody stuck to the schedule. It's pretty amazing. Um, there's so much that's gone into getting to this point today, and um, it's just been an, an unbelievable effort on, uh, on many fronts. So, ready to get back sailing. Thousands of spectators ashore and afloat flock to the Waitemata Harbour for the New Zealand Herald in-port race, starting with the dock out where fans could rub shoulders with the sailing teams. What a day. Um, you know, amazing crowd down here, everyone checking it out. So um, hopefully we can go out there and do our thing and, and show them a bit about, you know, how, they, how these boats can go. But light patchy winds and a strong tide would make for tricky race conditions. Dong Fong race team turned the tide on plastic and Team Axonobo were pushed out at the start by Team Brunel as America's Cup helmsman Pete Burling took control. After getting the best starts, Matt Frey and Sun Hung Kai Scallywag had an early lead. But the light winds offered passing opportunities for the trailing boats. And when the leaders became becalmed near the top mark, the others just sailed around them. Team Axonobo, one of the last boats to start, surprisingly found themselves leading at the first mark, with Dong Fong race team close behind. Team Axonobel and Dong Fong race team would stretch out, locking into a two-boat match race, neck and neck as they approached the final stage of the race. Dong Fong race team was able to make a pass on the last leg and hold on to the lead to take their third win of the import race series. Team Axonobel took second place, moving them to third overall and the overall import race series leader, Matt Frey, took a hard fought third place to retain their position at the top of the import race series standings. Yeah, yeah, you know, like um, Auckland always uh, loves, you know, loves getting out and watching the race and you know, the weather was perfect. Um, you know, a bit more breeze would have, been, would have been nice, but I guess lucky for us that it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't a you know, nice 10, 15 knot day because um, you know, there wouldn't have been too many opportunities to come back. But, and we're uh, obviously thrilled with the result and um, you know, good, good morale boost for the team. <laughs> no way. Are you all right? No? Oh, that's just as well. Wow. The teams now have one more week to prepare for what may be the defining leg of this Volvo Ocean race. The 7,600 mile leg seven will take the teams deep into the Southern Ocean and around the iconic Cape Horn before heading north to the finish in Itajai, Brazil. The teams will be fighting harder than ever with double points on offer for this leg, as well as a bonus point awarded to the first team around Cape Horn. Leg seven starts in Auckland at 2 p.m. local time on Sunday, the 18th of March.